what's up so today i'll be making well i'm actually preparing myself to go on a trip that it's gonna be like two or three weeks long so it's a long time that i will not be at home and i have to prepare my art supplies that i'm going to carry with me so yeah that's what i'm, I'm going to do i'm going to show you what i'm going to have with me uh and the trip so let's start so first thing is my pencil case i got it from amazon and i don't really like it's not any specific brand i'll try to put the links here um so yeah just like a normal pencil case i think you see this on every single one of my videos because it's always here on my desk but uh, this is how it looks from the inside and I have three kinds of erasers you know people think it's maybe too much it is probably a little three types of erasers so first off is this like um, pencil eraser I don't know if that's like the card name uh, but yeah you know like has a finer uh, lid so it's that I need an eraser and a regular wide eraser so all right let's move on and you know these little leads for my mechanical pencil it just really doesn't matter and washi tape i think it's useful i mean yeah it is useful so next into this blue part we have my pigma fb i think that means fine be something <laughs> i don't know um but i actually got this from a little set to draw manga uh from like micron pigma like that brand um so yeah i also have this micron this is a one 05 and 005 02 and 08 um these are a lot probably uh but yeah those are always on my pencil case and then we have this regular like more normal and not so popular pens because like i i got them off a local stationery store this is Pentel Energel, that's it, and it's 0.7, yeah, and also these two are actually really fun to draw with, uh, this is red, even though the plastic is pink, but it's actually red, and yeah, this is blue, these are 0.5, I think, yeah, and then I love this black pen, this is a Uniball signo gel stick 0.7 this is just really really smooth and i just love sketching with these three like those are amazing and then we have this regular mechanical pencil that's just a big um 0.5 and yeah i mean just regular um mechanical pencil then i have this thing that i don't remember the name for but i don't I don't really use it but like i'm afraid one day i'll be knitting it and and, and so that, yeah that's why i carry one with me all right now into the next part we have the tumble markers i bought a set of like the secondary color set from amazon and also i bought i don't know if this is something interesting to you i think not but i bought two black brush pens because i could only buy two like i couldn't buy simply one so what i did is that i have uh, numbers on them like you see this is number one and the other one is number two so i'm currently using number one just so i don't kill this one like i don't want to um and them 
both at the same time so yeah i used this one and this is just like uh, this is that's just there now this is my set of tumble markers i actually think these are great for sketching and i love the color palette oh wait wait a minute yeah oh i love the color palette seriously these are amazing i never thought i could really like like water markers but these are great i really recommend you like to use them they they just feel so good and you know they are brush markers but also like the fine point like this is also really nice like you know like they're not the main character on these markers but i actually like that point all right so next we have a jelly roll point eight um white pen i mean yeah that's just like super basic i think i don't know and then we have two chart pack markers i actually don't use them a lot but i don't know i like i am afraid of the bleeding through so maybe one day maybe one day i'll use them It'll, like they're nice they're so pigmented and also a friend of mine gave me like a, a set of fine liners a long time ago and i still have them um and in my pencil case i have these two it's orange and green and they are great for sketching truly they are amazing then we have a green ballpoint pen i cannot explain enough how much i love ballpoint pens for sketching i don't do it really much but when i do it like this just feel really cool and like like smooth and almost they are i feel like they are like a mix between pencils and gel pens that's what they are and last but not least we have a mechanical pencil but this is actually like the lead is really thick look at it it's it's a two like you know i have 0.5 this is a two uh so yeah this is just great for sketching I I cannot explain enough how much I love this pen, even though I don't really use it that much, but it just feels so good. It's almost like a regular pencil, you know, like one of these, the lead, but instead of a, you know, wood pencil, it's in a mechanical pencil. And I think that's just amazing. Now, the next thing is actually watercolors. And this set... It's an Analtoids box. It's really tiny. You can see it compared to my face. And instead of... I don't have, like, watercolor pens. So what I did is that, you know, the things that come on the top of, like, a bottle. Like, these things. I put the watercolor there. Like, liquid watercolors. And I let them dry. And here they are i love them i love especially these colors like yellow ochre forest green and violent red these are truly amazing colors i also have um let me say the name brent sienna oh brent sienna uh paints gray and ultramarine blue i think those colors are amazing and they are just what i need so they're amazing now onto the prismacolors these are actually i have the 150 set but these are my like my, my like the ones that i will carry with me all the time um oh i just find these colors amazing and for that i will turn the camera a little bit all right, so these are like my principal Prismacolors. I I truly um, 
think you don't need a lot of, a lot of them. Just like a little... How many are these? I I don't know how how many these are, but like they're not so many compared to the whole set. So yeah, I won't name every single one of them because it just would take me ages. But inside of this set of colors, I can still like select a few to make new palettes. Like for example, this one with this one. And yeah, I mean, you can obviously add more complementary colors, like probably this. No, no, not this one. Yeah, like, I don't know, I'm just picking random colors. At first it worked out, but then it didn't. All right, so maybe you can do like mini, mini sets like this. So yeah, just like I carry a lot of colors with me. I mean, I will carry a lot of colors with me, even probably the whole thing, I don't know. Also, I forgot to mention that I obviously will be carrying uh, a brush uh, because like, for example, I love this brush, it's uh, seven and it just has a really nice, nice, um, brush it's just a really nice brush and also I, ju I just not not so many you know all right so these are the brushes that i will be carrying with me so just so i have something to paint and lastly obviously the most important part is my sketchbook now i have like um I mean, this is not a very good paper for watercolor. It's actually very um, thin. But in the back, like in the folder part, I have a sheet of watercolor paper just in case I need it or just if I want to do something off my sketchbook. Like, not in my sketchbook. I also have these colors that I really like. These are... These are the colors that I really like. And I just, I never look at them really. I never use them, but I just like to keep them in there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, my sketchbook is really simple. Like, you know, that's, that's, I mean, it's very tiny. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> like, yeah, just a simple sketchbook. And that's it, actually, you don't need a lot of materials to do stuff, you know? And even though I really need, like, my jelly wash or my big set of water watercolors or my acrylics, you know, stuff like that. Um, these supplies that I showed you are enough, like, literally to do a lot, a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I think that's what I will be carrying with me on this trip. And yeah, thank you for watching.